about mm -hmm. election for soldiers. It's about four uh, veterans of the French and Indian War. All four veterans of uh, a regiment that was massacred. And if you saw um, the last one, Mohicans, and you saw, I don't know if you remember, there was a massacre in that where they got uh, killed. The, they grew up the fort. That was actually based on a real incident where the fort was surrendered by the uh, English and as they're leaving, they're massacred by the Indians. And I kind of based it on that massacre where everybody just gets slaughtered. Very few are, are uh, survivors. One of the men f finds out that their position was given away by a traitor within the ranks. So um, he comes to England. He's actually an American colonial who's a rich merchant, he comes to England to find out who this traitor is and get revenge, basically. And so the four-book arc is trying to find out who portrayed their entire regiment and all these men died. It's actually about the aftermath of war and men who have gone through horrible atro atrocities during war and had to do horrible things and how they have to come home and live a life with people who've never seen that kind of stuff. I think I, I started thinking of this about the time we invaded Iraq. Um, and I've, I back up a little bit. When I was growing up as a very serious teenager, and I used to read um, poetry from the First World War. And I don't know if anybody knows the history of the First World War, but a lot, uh, basically an entire gener uh, generation of young men died, uh, particularly in Britain. Men who you know would have grown up to be important people. Um, and they died in this kind of awful war. Um, and then I'm of the generation right after the Vietnam War generation. So when I was in high school, <clears throat> you know, you, you heard about Vietnam War veterans, and it was about the time when all those movies came out, uh, Full Metal Jacket, The Deer Hunter, all those kind of things about men who have, uh, young men, very young men, who have gone to war and been profoundly affected and then had to come home and, and have mental problems with that. And so I was thinking about that. I mean, I've always been kind of interested in veterans, uh, men who come back and then have to live normal lives after seeing terrible, terrible things. And so I think I, I want to talk about that, you know.